CEO of Agro Marketing Authority, Mr. Alvin Sharma, the uh, head of operations of agriculture, um, Mr. Vinesh, Dr. Vinesh Kumar, uh, the team leader here, uh, uh, our Tomasi, our representatives from the uh, Fiji National Provident Fund, Mr. Penny uh, Gwanlevu and uh, his team, and our farmers, ladies and gentlemen, Bulabinaka to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is one of, uh, uh, one of our dream projects, uh, which of course has started today, that we are very proud of. Very proud of, because one of the things that we believe is, we don't want to see any difference between uh, those uh, Fijians who are in the rural and rural and maritime division, or and those vis-a-vis -vis those live in the urban area, and often, often uh, we come across situations where we know that uh, the rural Fijians, the maritime Fijians, are left out uh, because when we were making policies, they were not in our mind. Things have changed, as I've said, that this government, the uh, Bani Marama led Fiji Pes government, is very particular about growing together. Whether you are in the Maritime Division, Undu Point, or Isawa, Sakandabu, or whether you are uh, in the interior rural area in Ra, or, or Nata City, or Thalebu, or uh, you, know, you are in one of the squatter settlements, we want that our development policies must address everyone's you know, uh, concern. So ladies and gentlemen, one of the issues that was just used to be uh, um, highlighted by our rural and maritime uh, people was that they were not part of our only national social security institution. And therefore, you know, when, they, when their bodies give up, when they are not able to work and earn uh, income, uh, there is no retirement plan, there is no uh, social security. Uh, government came in quickly to provide the $100 uh, pension payment through uh, Ministry of Social Welfare, but to those who are 65 and above. But again, uh, people uh, sometimes are not able to work uh, when they reach 55 or 56 or 57. And, but because they are not members of the, our national country's only national, only national social security institution, Fiji National Provident Fund, they were not eligible to uh, go on a pension scheme. Uh, but there is not only the pension that the Fiji National Provident Fund provides. Uh, of course, in a, in a few minutes' time, the representative from FN, uh, Fiji National Provident Fund, Mr. Gonilevi, will talk about the benefits that uh, all the members will get. So there are other benefits that will accrue to those who become members. Today, the Ministry of Agriculture is very proud to launch the first set of voluntary uh, members, membership uh, by farmers here in uh, Lomai, 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 Lomai farms. Uh, we're beginning with 12 farmers who will be flashing their membership card today, if I'm right. Yeah. 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 We're beginning with 12 of them. Uh, there are more uh, uh, farmers will are coming forward. There's another uh, close to 50 farmers will become members of the Fiji National Provident Fund from this area. And we will go around with AMA, with Ministry of Agriculture, with the staff of Fiji National Provident Fund and take this facility out to interior and rural areas so that our farmers in the interior and rural areas will become members of Fiji National Provident Fund. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a very proud moment today for me to officially launch the uh, agriculture voluntary uh, members of Fiji National Provident Fund 
today here at uh, uh, Naval Rati Farms. And I want to thank um, uh, uh, the leader of Naval Rati Farm for explaining it to their members, uh, getting their confidence so that they become members of the Fiji National Provident Fund today. Uh, it's a very exciting time because by holding that card, you have now uh, guaranteed a pension for you post-55, uh, if I'm right. You, know. you have also guaranteed other benefits which are lax, on level, for example, special debt benefit, you know, uh, should there be some unforeseen circumstances, that your family will not have to worry about you know, how to pick up those expenses. So, in this way, we are gradually trying to level the playing field in terms of you know, the benefits that our rural farmers will have and those who are working in the urban area. As I alluded to earlier on, farming is a profession, should be looked as a profession. And the farmers here, we want to treat them like they are and they should be an agricultural entrepreneur. And there should not be anything that should that would point out to you that you are you know any different from those who are running a small corner shop you know in town so <coughs> ladies and gentlemen uh, today uh, it's my pleasure to officially formally uh, launch the uh, membership of our farmers uh, of Fiji National Provident Fund and I wish you all the best and I now urge all the farmers in, in Fiji to uh, form groups so that uh, our agriculture team, IMA team and Fiji National Provident Fund team will come and make you members there. All you need at, uh, with you is a small amount of money. Uh, Isn't this $10? A minimum of $10. Minimum of $10, uh, minimum of $10 uh, to, to, to join the, to become a member. And after that you can, you know, you can put in $10 or $12 or $15, uh, you know, whenever you have that cash. And you know, when you have a bumper harvest, when you have a bumper harvest, you can put $200 or $300 or $400. Now, the, my understanding is that assume you don't pay any, uh, for some short period you don't deposit any money, but your money will still grow. Every year your money will grow. That's the beauty about uh, the pension scheme, because every year uh, the Fiji National Provident Fund from the returns that they gain from investing your money, they will accrue uh, a small uh, uh, interest rate, interest on your account. So uh, your account will continue to grow. The last was six percent or five percent. Five percent. Five percent is, in a in a in a relative sense, is very high amount. The return that you're getting, you put your money in time deposit in the bank. I don't think any bank will give you five percent to time deposit return. Uh, you put it in a passbook account, you will get maybe one percent or nothing, a uh, very, very small amount. Uh, you put it with unit trust, it uh, uh, depends uh, the amount you put there, uh, how much they give, the rates vary. 2.5 percent. 2.5 percent? He's got some money in unit trust, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this one, the rich guy. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, it's very exciting time and you know, in terms of, uh, I'm very passionate about uh, the rank and file ordinary Fijians uh, also having a retirement benefit and today these 12 members you know uh, will have now secured uh, a, a, a one of the uh, best secure pension scheme that the entire Pacific region has uh, so congratulations to them and I now urge and call upon all the other farmers that we will be coming around uh, with the team from FNPF, hard-working team from FNPF, to make you members of the Fiji National Provident Fund. Keep ten dollars, no more than that. The rest, uh, keep your birth certificate, and you know the rest they will do. They'll take your photo, they'll fill the form up. All you need to do is sign up and put your thumbprint, etc. The rest they will do. You don't have to go to FNPF. You don't have to you know uh, you know struggle to take a uh, go to the uh, Photoshop to take your photo, they will do everything. Thank you, Naka. <laughs> Naka. <laughs>